Brian. I am a cheater. That's right. I am a cheater. That's a fact. I am a cheater. That's correct. Dad, can I please stop writing? My hand hurts. No, you can't stop writing. I don't care about your hand hurting. You're going to write it 100,000 more times. But, Dad, I already wrote it 100,000 times. Can well, I please stop? me and your principal agree that this is a good punishment. So, you're going to write it 100,000 more times. So, you're going to have, what, what, what is that, 200,000 times? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but, Dad, school starts in 10 minutes. I got to go to school. Hmm. Well, I guess you can take a break because of school. <laughs> Shut pee-pee's in the car. Hurry up and get out there. But, but, before I go, can, can I please get a piece of bacon? Uh, uh, oh, oh, you want, you want some bacon? Yeah, yeah, it looks the so good. The crispy piece? Yeah, it looks really so good. It's, oh, it looks so crunchy. It looks so good. Can no, no, you can't get no bacon. Why? Cheaters can't get bacon. You're a cheater. That's why you're writing this. So get in the car and go. Oh, damn. Now. <laughs> oh, took you long enough. Is your hand sore? Yeah, it's really sore, Chef PB. It's hurting. <laughs> it's gonna be even more sore when you're a teenager. <laughs> what, what, what's, that to, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Oh, is, is it because when you're a teenager, you play a bunch of video games and it makes your hand sore? Sure, we'll go with that one. Now, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. And now I'm even more ready to go. Now that I got my butcher knife. What the hell are you doing with a butcher knife? Well, my principal is being really mean and he's punishing me, so I'm gonna punish him. What the hell is wrong with you? Just give me the butcher knife. Oh, you, you know you can't take butcher... But what? You, you cannot take butcher knives to school. That is crazy. They will label you a psychopath. Look, look, I'm gonna just take you to school and make sure you go to a psych ward after this class, okay? But, but, but how am I supposed to hurt my principal now? You're not supposed to hurt him, that's the point. But he punished me. Forget that. Well, just come on. Oh, I hate school. Hey, hey, Junior, what happened to you yesterday, dude? I got in trouble. I don't oh. want to talk about it. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. It's just stupid. <laughs> Jeez, you don't have to be a crybaby. Well, I'm Cecilia. What happened to your glasses? Tengo contactos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I know no one probably cares. But I've been here since last night. My mom never picked me up. All right, class, settle down, settle down. Look, yesterday, some asshole pulled a fire alarm. That is not funny. So today, I'm going to teach you about fire safety. All right, we're going to get started because your teacher's running late. All right, yeah, anybody have any questions? I'm the Brooklyn firefighter. Oh, 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 I got a question, I got a question. Oh, God damn, your voice sounds like a fucking fire alarm. Ah, could somebody else ask the question for him, please? Sure, yeah. Um, okay. He wants to know if you drive a fire truck. No, oh, you sound like my ex-wife. Anyway, yeah. Uh, what else will we drive? I'm a firefighter. I drive a fire truck. What do you think we drive? Priuses? Nah, I'm a firefighter. Any other questions? No, no other question. Is the fire truck red? No, no, no. It's goddamn purple. It's a new role. It's a new job requirement. It's just me, myself, and my big f***ing purple fire truck. Okay? Does anyone else have any stupid questions, yo? Does it have any doors? Does it have wheels? That kind of thing? Huh? Oh, I was gonna ask if it had wheels. Alright, alright, alright. No more stupid questions, okay? Let's get started. Today's fire safety day. I'm gonna teach you what to do in case a fire breaks out in the classroom. Alright? Now, there's two things you can make me today. There's happy face and a sad face. Now right now, I'm sitting over here at sad face. I don't want to be sad face. I'm sitting over here because someone pulled a fire alarm yesterday and they're not admitting to it. And that's not good, alright? Uh, it was me. Okay, so since I'm at sad face, I'm going to keep a tally of how many sad faces you give me today. Now because of yesterday, I'm already at one sad face. Try not to give me any more sad faces. Yeah, I have another question about the fire truck. Does it have a ladder? No, the sad face. No more stupid questions. <laughs> That's another sad face. No sneezing, it's not sanitary, and it's a fire hazard. Oh, uh, hey, hey, you're fine, dude. Hey, uh, you mind if I go to the bathroom and get some water? Man, I'm bursting. Oh, guess what, class? No, the sad face. So, does that mean yes, folks? 
Guess what? Another sad face. No, you can't go get water. This is very important. You need to pay attention. But I'm thirsty. And I gotta go pee. Do, do you want to die? Okay? This is very important. Alright? So no more stupid questions or anything like that. Alright? Look, the first rule of fire safety is that you don't go crowd in the corner like you did yesterday like a bunch of stupid animals. You line up in a single fire line and you walk out of the classroom. Oh, sir. But what if we get caught on fire? Good question. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to stop, drop, and be rolling. Okay? Now I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm on fire, oh no, I'm on fire, all right? Like that. Oh, cool, it's like a dance. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a dance, but it saves your life. Does anyone want to come over here and try this? No, 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 I want to try. Yeah, what do I do? It's really easy. You just get down here, and you do what I do. Just flail around like that, okay? Just do that. No, no, look no, at me. What, what is that? What are you doing? You, you look like a dead fish. No, hey, hey, come on, no, go sit down. Yeah. You do that in the real fire, you're gonna burn to death, okay? Okay, so after you've stopped, dropped, and been rolling, and you're safely away from the fire, you're gonna call 911 extension 5, okay? That's me, the 5 right there in my helmet, that's me. I'm gonna come here personally and save you in my big f***ing purple fire truck. No. I'm gonna dial that number when I get lonely. Okay, that concludes the fire safety presentation. It's just really, it's basic stuff. Fire's hot, don't touch it. Don't play with matches, you tip your waitresses. And tell you what, you guys, you get a smiley face because I get to go home. Okay, and before I leave, dare I ask, are there any other questions? I have a question. Uh, could you take me home in your big purple fire truck? My mom didn't pick me up yesterday. <sighs> Negative happy face, okay? Don't call me unless there's a fire. Your teacher should be here soon. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, can I get your autograph before you leave? What? No. Did I save you on 9-11? No, I'm not saying anything special. I'm just a firefighter. No, I'm out of here. Oh, reaving so soon? Yeah, done with the presentation. Uh, look, I really appreciate what you're doing. These kids are really stupid. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I just tone them out. That's all I do. And the key is cupcakes. They shut up after that. Uh, well, good. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you for your service, man. Oh, absolutely. All right, Kras. Did y'all enjoy the fire presentation? Oh, y'all didn't get any happy face. It's okay. Last year didn't do it either. Okay, so. I know yesterday was supposed to be the big test and the fire alarm went off. Somebody pulled the fire alarm. So, Cody was the only one to turn in his test and of course he got an A. So, tomorrow is the big test. Biggest one ever is the final. So, if you do not pass the test, you do not pass the class. Okay? So, you can either pass the class with the test of getting an A or you kill the fry. Okay. Oh, who's that? Who is that? Oh, wait, her? Yes, the one that looks just like you, but pink. Oh, her? That's Paulina. She's my sister. <laughs> okay, so does she want to come introduce herself? Come on, Paulina. Come here. Yeah, go up there, Paulina. Do it. <laughs> come here. Come introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Paulina. Jesus. What? You sound like my ex-wife. But, but carry on, carry on. Uh, yeah, yeah, Paulina, I'm from Brooklyn, and I am a girl, I promise. Uh, and, yeah, and before you ask, these are pigtails, not tumors, okay? I get that problem a lot. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, man, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Boys, boys, settle down. There's enough of me for the both of you. Okay, okay, go sit down, weirdo. Sit down. All right, Crass. So... I think that's enough learning for today, so you all can go home early. But make sure tomorrow is big final exam, so make sure you study. Wait, what's gonna be on the exam? Hmm. Uh, Kakuras, uh, Kakuras, fire safety, Kakuras, Kakuras, and, um, I know there's one more. Kakuras, yeah. So, uh, make sure you study your Kakuras and fire safety, and I'll see you back here tomorrow bright and early. Okay, bye-bye. Wait, wait, can you give me a ride home? I don't know where my mom went. Uh, so sorry, Suzuki only big enough for one. No. Oh.